Hey you guys, Linwood here, and today I'm going to show you how to tie the interlock knot. So stay tuned and thumbs up if you like it. And if you haven't seen my last video, you can do so by clicking the I in the top right corner, right up here. <laughs> All right, so I uh, am going to go ahead and take this down and we'll get started. But just before we do, I want you to know, because I know plenty of people are going to ask, this is actually a Steve Harvey tie. And um, if I can find a link, I'll put it down in the drop bar below. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this down and then we will get started. All right, so first things first, this is my right side with my blade, which is the large end of the tie. This is my left side with the tail, which is the small end of the tie. So uh, I do have the entire thing flipped for your viewing pleasure. So when I say right, it's also your right. And when I say left, it's also your left. Now I'm gonna start off over here on my right side where my blade is. I'm just going to place my finger in the middle like so. And then I'm going to press pretty firmly and pinch from the outsides. That's going to create my dimple or my power crease. From there, I'm gonna pull it to my center button on my shirt and then I'm gonna bring the tail end of the tie right over the top, making sure to keep it pinched, and then wrap it around the back like so, and up through the center. Okay, so this is what we currently have. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and fold this baby in half. So this tail has now been folded to where my ends meet each other. And I'm going to place my finger in there. We'll just wrap around like so. Okay, so in case you didn't see it, I went ahead and folded it in half. I'm going to place my index finger of my left hand in there, wrap over the top of that finger, and then just let it rest there. Just like that. From there, I'm just going to wrap around the back. So we just brought around the back with the right hand. Okay. And this is really where it gets tough because now I have to keep my fingers planted there while keeping the tail end folded. I'm just gonna place it through this loop here. So as I remove my finger, I am taking the tail end of it right on into that loop and notice it wants to come unfolded on me so this is where the challenge comes into play is by making sure you're working both of those hands to ensure that this end stays folded all right so now that we've got it through there this is what we're looking like from here it stays tricky i apologize i'm going to go ahead and place my index finger up here again we're going to keep it folded in half and I'm going to wrap around my index finger, just like so, okay? I'll do that one more time because I know it's confusing. Take your index finger and point it towards yourself. Now turn it up towards the ceiling and just wrap that baby right on around so it's gonna come over to your left side. From there, point that finger back at yourself. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just bring this baby right up over the top and place it down through the center. Don't forget, if any of this is too fast, you can pause it, you can rewind it, and um, it makes it pretty easy and convenient for you. I don't wanna go too slow because I know I do have some viewers that are able to keep up pretty well. Now here, I'm just going to lightly fold like right here in the middle. I don't want to fold all the way through. So you'll see what I mean here in just a moment. I've got it folded on the tip here. I'm gonna place it right there in that loop again. So just like we did last time, place it directly in that loop and pull right on through. And see how it's automatically folding that? That's great. I need it folded right around the middle, just where it's going through that loop, but not on this outside, because it's gonna help add to smoothness. Then from there, I'm going to unfold it. It's gonna still be slightly folded here. And I'm just going to place it up underneath my collar like so. Wrap it around there. I'm just gonna wrap it around twice just for some added security. All right, now from there, I do like to pull this down, this loop right here, just a little bit, just so it kind of shows off that loop there and make sure that my two rings are stacked. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this collar down. 
if for some reason you need to tighten this up, you would just grab your knot, pinch uh, right here on your dimple, and just pull down on the blade of the tie, which is a large end. The only thing your left hand is doing is just holding that knot in place as you pull. From there, it'll go ahead and tighten everything up for you. All right. So there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. Oh, and by the way, I shared a couple weeks ago um, one of my ties on Instagram. It's the first time I had worn a full winter in a very long time. And a lot of people were really obsessed with the tie. And that was this tie here. And I quite love it myself. Um, but a lot of you were just completely in love with it and wanted to know where I got it and how you can get your hands on it. So I will be sure to include a link down below for this floral tie um, because it is a rather nice tie. I love the texture and stuff of it too and it holds really well for multiple different types of knots because of the texture, it's not too slippery. But um, if you like it, it'll be down in the description box below as well. Um, I just decided to go ahead and share it in this video because so many people have been asking me about it and I know not all of you follow me on my other social media networks the same way that you follow me here and that way you can at least get your hands on it. It's a really great deal too. All right, so until next time you guys, take care and God bless. You are fancy now and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.